They're frightened, really frightened. Even father. Why? <laughs> Screwdriver. Keep away from it, Homily. Yeti, over here. Quick. Why did she do that? Why do you think? Oh, sorry. Is that on your mother? It's the boy. Yes. Could we have our ceiling back, please? And that one's your father, isn't it? He, we're not it. Put it back at once. I've bought you something. The drawer really opens. So I see. Don't you want it? You do, don't you, Mother? You've always wanted one. <clears throat> I've seen that before, upstairs. Yes, very nice, thank you. Now, can we have our roof back on, please? What about this? Try it. Go on. Oh, yes. <laughs> could have been made for me. You could have it by the fire. Look lovely on the new blotting paper. Let's see. Steady on. There. What do you keep in this? Cole, sorry. No, what you've done. Cole, everywhere. I'll do that. You'll make more of a mess than there is already. Over my new carpet. Are those your books? Yes. A dictionary, plays of Shakespeare, the history of Tom Thumb, and my diary. Will you come see me again? Of course I will. Did you hear that? Did you hear what your daughter said? Would you like to see the storeroom? No, he wouldn't. Now, would you put the roof back again? There's a good boy. We're getting cold down here. Sorry. Shall I nail you down? Yes, please. So I've got some more things upstairs. Well, that's very kind of you, but... Uh, things? What sort of things? What sort of things? All kinds of stuff. Ask him what sort of stuff. What kind of stuff? Carpets, and rugs, um, and cooking pans. Carpet. Real carpet. Ask him how much he's got. Why don't you ask him yourself? And a bird in a cage. Not a real one, of course. And tables. And five gold chairs. A sideboard and a potted palm. All kinds of things. I found them in a shoebox in the old toy cupboard. Oh, Pod, just think of it. Real cooking pans. A dining room suite. Well, maybe we could find a use for some of your stuff. I'll bring it tomorrow. Well, yes. Well, perhaps you could nail us down lightly, if you get my meaning. Just a, a, a tap or two here and there. Right. Uh, could you come tomorrow afternoon? All right. Oh, bring a book. Um, what do you want to read? Anything. I'll wait under the old oak. Well, there's a thing. Who'd have thought it? Sauce buttons. A sideboard, he said. A potted palm. A bird in a cage. A bird in a cage. Where are we going to put all this stuff? In the drawing room. We haven't got a drawing room. No. Not yet, we haven't.
Any knives need sharpening, missus? The keenest edge in the kitchen? No, thank you very much. Any pots need patching? Chimneys need sweeping? No, none. Good day. <laughs> Trust him. Stryver, I just saw that man. How many times have I told you to wipe your feet before coming into my kitchen? But... No buts. Do it at once. Mr. Stryver, but... I want an apology this instant. I'm sorry. And speak when you're spoken to. Please. Do you want to be locked up in your room again? No. Then be off with you. covers 13,355,000 square miles. Its population is about 475 million people. I did say there were lots of us, didn't I? 475 million human beings. And how many borrowers? It doesn't say. Probably too many to count. Probably. looks better here or back where it was. Don't see as how it makes much difference. Well, of course it does. Here it gets the light from the door, back where it was, it hides the pipes. Pod? What? Well, advise me. Oh, where it was. Do you think so? Yes. Well, I don't. I think it's better here. Do we need all this stuff? For years, I've had to make do, ever since we had that flood. And now, for the first time, I've got nice things I can be proud of. I used to dust more like I won't be able to move soon. Look at all these chairs. Yes. Aren't they lovely? Homer, oh, there are five of them, and only three of us. Who's going to sit in them? Well, someone might. Who? When? I'm keeping them, Pod. Where are you going? 
borrowing. But we don't need anything at the moment. Anyway, George will get it for us. George? That's what he's called, George. Homily. No. Come and sit down in your nice new comfy chair and have a little rest. Let George do the borrowing. And then when you've had a little rest, you can help me with the piano. The piano? The one George might be bringing. Who's going to play a piano? It's not for playing. It's for putting things on. Ariette, you ought to write another letter to the Hendrieries. Tell them all about my nice new things. More like a list than a letter. <sighs> oh, if only there was someone we could ask for tea. When bending my eyes downward as much as I could, I perceived it to be a human creature not six inches high with a bow and arrow in his hands and a quiver at his back. Do you think he was a borrower? Could have been. In the meantime, I felt 40 more of the same kind as I conjectured following the first. What does conjectured mean? I think it's something to do with juggling. Can't be juggling. Never mind. Carry on. Right. Following the first, I was in the utmost astonishment. I bet he was. And roared so loud that they all ran back in a fright. I bet they did. You're not frightened of me, though, are you? No. I'll have a surprise for you tonight. What sort of a surprise? A present. I never do. Well, someone has. And stolen some of the ornaments. Gracious, have they? Now, that's a bit funny, that is, because I can't find my boots, neither. A silver violin and golden shoe have gone for a start. I made sure I'd left them by the door. And we've had no strangers around, except... That tinker. Could be, couldn't it? Except he didn't come inside, did he? Or is it her? Mistress? What would she want with my boots? Anyhow, she's in bed. But who's to say she stays there? Who's to say she doesn't come sneaking down in the night, moving things, perhaps, even taking them? And then, then, Mr. Cramphill, sniggering quietly to herself before creeping back upstairs and hiding them in her bed. Why would she do that? To spite me. Just as she can ask innocently, is everything all right downstairs? Oh, she's heartful. Sounds strange to me, taking your own things. Oh, she'd do it. She's a sly one. It could be the boy. No, no. There's no telling with boys. That's right. But I'll tell you one thing, Mr. Cramphill. Whoever it is, they'll be very, very sorry by the time I've finished with them. George. Um... I've got the surprise. Wait a second. It's for me. Look! 
Just a minute. Where did you get that? From the drawing room. Yes. From the glass cabinet near the settee. Second shelf next to the golden shoe. The key was in the lock. All I had to do was turn it. Well, you can just turn it again, my lad, and take these things back. Pod, why? I've got one of my feelings all over. But they're presents. Presents, they bode. They'll be missed. And you don't take things that'll be missed. It's a golden rule that must not be broken. Not alive, there ain't. Oh, but I saw them. Hundreds of them. Oh. Couldn't have. Just dolls' furniture, that's oh. all. It's just some game the boy's been playing. Oh. 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 It'll all seem different in the daylight. Nighttime plays funny tricks, but with a light and all. Off you go. They were there. in the morning. Where's George? What are we going to do? We've no choice now. Emigrate. No good, there's no water, no food. She'll turn the house upside down, attic and all. She'll bring in cats by the sack full and rat catchers and dogs, all kinds of things. There'll be nowhere safe. There's nothing for it. We have to go. My home. My poor home. George could take us to the Hendrews. I don't want to live in a badger set. Well, there's one thing for certain. We can't live here, can we? I'll take you there tomorrow. Um, in the peg bag. I can't get into a peg. I knew it! You won't get away! Leave him alone. You sneaky little dribby. 
it. You're in league with them, aren't you? Well, you know what they do to thieves, don't you? They lock them up. I'm not a thief. I'm a borrower. A borrower? It's not fair. Why can't you just leave them alone? Stop that noise, you tell me. You stop it. Get the rat catcher. That's what I'll do. He'll oh. deal with them. I'll get another cat. And the sanitary inspector. And the fire brigade. And the police. Once a nest is found, the rest is easy. Well, we've got to get out of here somehow. We could get out under the clock. But then where? Back door will be shut just like the front is. No, we're trapped in this house and there's no way out. <gasps> At the moment. I mean, we've got to be ready for a door to be opened. Pod? Well, we'll never get across the kitchen, because that's where they'll be with their dogs and things. The front door is our best bet. And we could watch it from under the clock. That's right. And the moment the door's opened... We run for it. I can't. I'm no good at running. I haven't got the pub. You will have when the time comes. How do we find Loopy and Hendrieri? How do we find out where they live? How are we going to live? We're not going unprepared, Homily. We've got to get things together. Useful stuff like tools and cooking pots and food, and warm clothes and things, and put them in the borrower's bags. Oh. Come on, let's get started. Come on. All clear. Right, now spread out. Remember, essentials only. Oh, there's a few in the store. Come on. through the grating. Front door's our only way. Why don't we ask George to open it? No. The boy got us into all this trouble in the first place. But if I asked him... I said no. We're on our own. And that's the way it should be. And there's no way we're going anywhere except the clock, right? Come on. Hey, Eddie, I said come on. Is that right? Oh! All right. Yes. 
it's all right. I don't know how you can work up here, Pod. I really don't. With that great thing going backwards and forwards, up there, making all that noise. You get used to it. Well, I couldn't. I'll never sleep. Well, you just have to try. I have to block that up if they get a ferret. A ferret? Yes, it'll be along this passage and up here before you can blink. I'm not saying they will mind, but it has to be thought about. Well, you think about it, Pod. Because I don't want to. Light up. Thank you. 